G'day, Ben here. In this Groovy Siemens video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly build and view mobile interfaces for your Siemens S7 PLC. Now to do this, I'm going to need three things. Groove server for Windows, a tag server that connects to Siemens PLCs, and my Siemens S7 1513 PLC. It's a simple three-step process. First, I'll enter the S7 tags I want to see in Groove into my tag server. I'm going to be using Kepware's Kepserver EX installed on a Windows computer. Second, I'll add the tag server into Groove Build and import those tags. And third, I'll attach gadgets to those tags, then save and view the data on my desktop web browser and on my Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm going to remote desktop to a Windows 7 PC. I've already downloaded and installed Kepware's Kepserver EX free trial that'll run with all features and drivers for a full two hours, just like Groove Server for Windows. So this means that together it's the perfect way to trial all the steps in this video for free. Let's go ahead and open up Kepserver's configurator and click new channel. Give it a name, I'm going to call it Siemens. And from the drop down driver list, I'll choose Siemens TCP IP Ethernet. You know, but before I move on, just take a look at all the other drivers supported. All of these systems are now compatible with Groove. And this means that while this video is covering Siemens PLCs connecting to Groove, these three steps largely apply to anything in this list. Okay, so I get a little excited there, so let's get back to work. Click Next, and if you have more than one interface card, be sure and select that one that the Siemens S7 controller is on. Go ahead and select the defaults for all the remaining dialogues. Now that the channel is created, let's go ahead and add a device. I'm going to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it S7-1513 for my PLC here. And select the device. The ID is the IP address. Accept the defaults on the next few dialogues, and OK, there we go. So now that we have a channel and a device, let's add a few tags. Right click and select New Tag, and I'm going to add a digital output. Give it a name and put the address in. In my case, it's the first output of the card, so it's called Q0.0, .0 and the type is a Boolean. Now let's also add a variable. Right click and select New Tag. Give it a name, and the memory address of this is QD6, and the type is a float. Okay, that's it. I'm done with step one. Now, let's automatically import those tags into Groove. I'm going to flip over and use the Mac now, and I'm going to be using my favorite browser, Chrome, but I could just as well use any browser, like Safari on the Mac or Internet Explorer 10, running on Windows or Firefox on Linux and well anyway you get the idea. Just make sure that you log into Groove with admin rights. So once you do that go ahead and click on the gear icon and select switch to Groove build. Now click on configure devices and tags. First we have to add our tag server. I'm going to call it Siemens and go ahead and put in the address and the port of the tag server. Next I simply import those tags from that server by clicking on Import Tags. Boom! That's it. I'm done with step two. Now, the last step is the really fun part, building our page in Groove with no programming. Let's start by dragging a button onto the page and connecting it to the digital output on the S7s here. So go ahead and click and drag the button gadget from the gadget palette. Let's select the Siemens tag server, then imported tags, then Siemens, then the device. Here's our digital output point. Click it and click update gadget. Give the button a name. You can change the colors if you like. We're done. So let's go ahead and try it out. Click on file, save all changes and switch to Groove view. Now here we go. You know, if there's a button, I just got to click on it. <laughs> yep, works a ripper. Okay, now let's hook up a gauge to that variable in the S7. Go back to Groove Build, and from the Gadget Palette, let's select the Tags tab. Now, drill down to the tag you want, select the Round Gauge Gadget, 
and set the range for it. Okay, now, you know, while we're here, let's throw an image onto the page as well. Drag the image gadget over, browse for the image. Ah, too easy, we're done. Let's save the project and check it out. Here it is on my browser, but let's check it out on my Android smartphone. Yep, as expected, it looks and works just awesome. How easy is that? It was real simple to add the S7 tags into Kep server and then Groove automatically imported all those same tags. It was easy then to hook those tags to gadgets and don't forget, Groove automatically built the mobile pages while I built the desktop pages. We did not have to write a single line of code. Groove your Siemens S7. It's a simple three-step process. For more information, check out Groove.com. Till next time, cheers mate.